Boo. All right. Uh, lore time. Uh, doing the things. Pretending that I actually got a good night's rest. Ha ha. Let's fucking go. Method acting! Alright, let me get the proper music on. Let's start with uh, Outside the Fold. And now into lore mode we go. You know, I really don't feel all that rested. Carnation made me sleep, but uh, after yesterday's little flub up with the Carnation in my hand talking to the others about having emotions, TM. I, uh, really could not sleep all that well. Out of character note to myself, add a, uh, add a conduit to the spirit area. You know what? If you're leaving me alone, I'm gonna leave you alone. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. I guess we're making our way back to town. I am gonna see if anyone is in town. If no one is in town, I am getting back to work. If someone is in town, I'm going to pretend I'm going on a walk. and uh, go tidy up Angel's spawn. I really, really do feel bad about that. It's the last time I listen to you, Abaddon. I don't know if Carnation knows because Carnation had no reactions to that whole ordeal after leaving. That totally doesn't get the old uh, overthinking noggin going nuts. Which means I need to work harder so that I don't think about it. After all, there's more important issues than... Uh, that. This isn't healthy? I don't know what you're talking about, Ezekiel. I am perfectly fine. The zombies are still there. Look, it's fine. I know I can't avoid thinking forever. But if I avoid thinking forever, then I avoid overthinking forever. Checkmate. <laughs> Clown's already taking L's. 
What happens when I think? I don't want to think about that, Ezekiel. You're gonna you're gonna trap me into some thinking, some form of thinking that gets my brain in overdrive. <laughs> Seems somebody came by and uh, cleaned the chest or cleaned the trash can. Should face my problems properly. Uh, define properly. Should I face them head on? Cause I can do that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I also did not mean to do that. I am avoiding my problems, because there's a more important problem, and that is tracking down Digger Crozul. Because the one time I let it go is the one time something happened. You're right, it's not my fault. I could have done something, though, but what do I risk more? One person being mad at me, or the entire kingdom being ma- for not helping him, rather. Or, uh, risk the entire kingdom being mad at me for working on my day off. I know I can't do everything alone. I have you guys. It does not look like every anyone's in town. So here goes. Fuck. Uh, alright, uh, hey, future me, edit this whole chunk out. I've temporarily ascended to godhood. Uh, I am now... God. Just to add prepotency to this godhood. Everything is fine. This is what spectator mode is forking? Yeah, I know, but I gotta leave this in now as the end stinger. <laughs> I can be smart. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's just, uh... Go back over here, descending rapidly. I'm gonna pretend I landed just fine. Give future me a few second cut. Three, two, one. Does not seem like anyone is in town. Hello, Faye. Doing lore. To Metal Gear Rising music, as one does. Hmm. <sighs> 
Uh, so far, so good. And we made it. Make sure I'm lined up properly with my watching spot. Eat some bacon. Okay. We're good. See, I can work and re relax, relax, relax. Clown is here. Should have expected that. Okay, we're gonna pretend I wasn't on top of the gate. Clown doesn't and did not see me. Should be scot free now. I'm just going to pretend I was checking out. Does not look like anything was left. Bird has not gotten their shield. Looks like I'm making my way home. Can't a guy work in peace? I will answer her in a second. I should probably turn off shuffle. This music is too exciting for uh, playing hooky for my break. Turning off shuffle. We are good and professional. And with that, all possible deniability is gone. Home stretch, baby. Oh yeah, I also reorganized my cabinets. We got dishes, we got confectionery ingredients, we got vegetables, fruits, meats. I'm going to reset my spawn before I forget.
to go scold somebody. You can just do that, you know I see you down there. And scold me about what? I was on a walk. Home. Yeah. Aren't you resting and not patrolling on top of the bridge again? I don't know what you're talking about. I was on a walk. Weird to walk up there, but that's your choice. You want some arrows? Here you go. Uh, thanks. So oh, um, I am gonna spin the silent again a little bit. Um, and when the funny letters appear, I'm gonna stop cleaning. Or we can just drop TNT down. I have enough now. Oh, you do now? Awesome. Let's blow stuff up. Sounds good. Okay, so I was thinking, because we're kind of high up, we should probably go from uh, Navin's house and drop it off from there. That would be a good idea. Hi, Neil. Why is everyone so hell-bent on upsetting Neil? He's just a guy. There's a little guy behind Neil. Lays little legs. What? Yeah, there's like a little leg. Well, I'm gonna there's have not. to gonna have to name that now. Uh, anyways, here full stack. Oh, awesome! Want to blow stuff up? Uh, yeah. Let me go get my flint and steel that I had to go grab from August. I'll make another just in case. Without accidentally setting my house on fire. That would be really funny, and I think you should consider it. Um. I will think about it. I've thought about it. The answer what is no. What did you come to? The answer is no. Boring. All right. I think I see how to get to the area. Oh, you, you can just go through the door. I could just go through the door. You know where that is? Nope. Would you like me to show you where that is? That's boring. Okay, well, I'm going to go to where it is, and if you happen to see me, um, then we can pretend you didn't, since we're pretending that nobody can see things today. I'm there. Did you just jump off the edge and land on it? Yeah. Do you, have you figured out how you do the super like thing yet? Nope. Okay. Well, when you do... Uh, have you considered, uh, learning how to harness some kind of energy? I don't know what kind of energy it is, it just happens. I have harnessed so many energies, and I haven't found one that makes me fart into the air yet. It's not a fart, it's a fucking it's cloud. It's basically a fart. Bombs in the way. 
This is way more effective. Oh, miles. Miles more effective. And a carpet bomb. Like a rug of death. Oh. I mean, yeah. I didn't think to do that. Oh, there's diamonds down there. Oh, shit. Well, this is your mess and you're cleaning it up, so help yourself. Just mind the explosions. Oh, it smells so bad down here. I can imagine. You wouldn't believe it? I found an enderpearl right after I used my enderpearl. Uh, I would actually believe that. I don't need those in my hands right now. Hmm. Well, uh, good news is, uh, the Slyland is getting cleaned up. Bad news, there might not be an island left. Uh, you know, that is a shame for whoever planted the carrots down here. Yeah. Oh, there's an anvil down here, too. I wonder when I dropped that. Is that even yours? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I drop a lot of stuff down here. Should only need to do the one. Without wasting TNT, Dakota. And I wasted TNT. Oh! Ooh. That's... I was expecting that to work a little less well. Oh, do you wanna... Hey, can you take a shot? Uh, I don't know how good your down to island aim is. Take a shot at what? Me. From my bow? I don't wanna jump into the void down here. That makes sense. Thank you. Yep. Um, you know, it's funny, actually. People think my aim was pretty bad when I was... Oh, uh-oh, that's bad. I didn't look at you, boss. Uh, apparently it said you did. Well... Well, I should have came a little more prepared for this. Did you not bring enough explosives? Uh, no, I brought plenty of explosives. What I did not bring was enough uh, placing blocks. I've got some dirt. I can probably steal some of Novin since they're dead. I have no comment on that. That they're dead or the stealing from the dead part? Uh, both. Okay, um, for what it's worth, there's nothing wrong with stealing from dead people, because they're dead. Uh, something something desecrating the dead. Eh, they don't need it. They might not need it, but it's like this whole respect ordeal. There's actually Plus some- Not like, the big scary monster who obliterated someone's house and tried to starve someone, though. Yeah, that's true, but that monster was somebody I care about's friend. Oh, Jackpot? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, you silly little bonehead. What did I do? Not you. Skeleton thinking it stood a chance against me. Ah. Oh, there's a lot of Endermen down there. I know why they're mad at me. Um, I'm carpet bombing them, and they don't seem to like it. That... is certainly plausible. We're doing science here. Alright, I should have plenty of blocks now. Not like anyone was using this perch.
All right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Kind of feel bad for uh, whoever's farm this was. But, you know. Hey. Huh? I am so sorry. I didn't know that you would be on this island. I came over to see what was going on. Oh, we're trying to get rid of it because it's like stupid radioactive. Yeah, that's fair. Ow. Welcome to Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Why was I on fire for so long? I offered to give this back to Kay and he didn't want it, so I'm kind of assuming it's just like void fodder now. Well, that's I mean, the first. Sure. Oh. The hu- why- did- was that- huh? I need to stop- I need to stop going that down there. The name of the Enderman. I mean, it's apt. The hubris of man, the arrogance of clown. It's apt. <laughs> I might have to go down there and clean up that portion by hand. Are all the Endermen down there named? I think so. Most of them, at least. The ones with boats. Interesting. That's what the anvil was for. You named them? Duh. Eh, yeah, you know, that tracks. Oh, I want to. I want to be too. honest here and say that I was definitely telling the truth about the radiation. Um, it sucks really bad down there, but the funny letters thing was definitely one of the Endermen that I mean. Okay. Oh man, do I risk going down there? I used up my flint and steel. You know what that? We're well, getting close. We are getting close. Uh, I don't have any more. Oh, you know what I do have, though? A fucking bow with flame. Smart. It's very essential to my monster hunting business. Got any cool new monsters yet? Um. Not, re not recently. Uh, the coolest... well, it's not really cool, but, uh, it's certainly something. Watch yourself down there, Anathema. I'm about to drop one. Yes, I, I, I know. Give me a sec. Let me know when you're out of the way. That should help some. Oh, smart. Ooh! Nice! There's a clump over here to clear. There's still that huge chunk over there as well. Oh, that's the chunk you're talking about, okay. Clumpy. I think the rest of that we might be able to get by hand. Where's the fun in that? That is very true. Uh, let me know Ooh, when to take- missed one single sludge. Let me know when to take the shot, Anathema. I mean, what's it gonna do, kill me? Well, I mean, I don't want you to be stranded down there or jump into the abyss. You should be fine. Okay. Yeah, not to not to question your yeah. taste, but the void's not it. Chain reactions are a delight. Do 
Do any of you know what the uh, big obsidian building next to the uh, castle is? I think that's the new vault. Yeah, it's got the same pattern. Oh. Why do you need a new one? Uh, because it, Kennedy's because kinda a mile away. away. True. Sorry! Oh shit. <laughs> you guys don't have fast horses. I don't have a horse at all. So I don't know how to tell you this, but that's not a horse. Lying to me doesn't make it true. Alright, there's a good chunk of it over there. Wow. I sure did drop that TNT exactly through the hole in the crown, didn't I? <laughs> um, good job, Soleil. Uh, props for style. Um, unfortunately, I have to give you a failing grade in execution. I'm not very experienced with blowing things up. Usually I, I keep my uh, munitions more reserved and harmless. I did not do much better. <laughs> failing grade. Uh, in my defense, my depth perception may not be very great. I have kind of gone a few days without sleep. And whose fault is Why that? Why aren't you sleeping? Um, because there's work to do. He was on top of the gate again. Again? Uh, are we gonna get that stuff over there? How am I gonna get that stuff over there? I'm this might be an sure acceptable amount of sludge. What was that, Anathema? I'm sorry. Nothing, never mind. Uh. Oh, you are in a less than ideal spot. <laughs> Well, there's just not a good angle from here. Hang on. Yeah, that that one whiffed. Hang on, I'll uh, I'll I'll make a bridge over. Ouch. Yeah, there's just a few ragtag blocks left, so. Most of that will have to be actually cleaned up by hand. Oh, well, it smells a lot better down here. So that probably means it's safe for someone like me and you to be down there. Anathema, I'm sure, has some kind of radioactivity production protection on that armor. Mm -hmm. All right. I liked this island better when there was ground under it. Well, you could have prevented that by not dumping slime down there. And you didn't tell me where to put it, so I just put it. Um... I mean, there's a big abyss you can just throw it in. We have trash cans now. We, had, we didn't have trash cans when this island became a problem. You could have invented trash cans sooner. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh. Damn it. There's a little bit of odd sludge here and there. Yeah. Oh, 
all in all in all I think we can call this uh, a success Oh, it's really fucking good. Uh -oh. I disconnected a little bit from Twitch. Uh -oh. That doesn't have any ramifications. Oh, oh here we go. Uh -oh. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. 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 That's no bueno. Uh, I landed myself in a bit of a predicament. Oh. Hi, Anathema. Hmm? Right over here. <laughs> Are you having fun over there? Uh, I will be in a moment. There we go. I should have brought more wood. I can get over there. Just a matter of getting the loose okay? stuff without dying. Hmm? Are you good? Are you okay? Mm hmm. Okay. Alright. I got that uh, slime block. Oh, something's happening to OBS here. Concern. Uh, you probably don't want to crouch in like the TNT. <laughs> You know, I'm real. I'm learning my lessons slowly. Slowly. Yeah, I see that. Okay, I need more wood. Oh, well, that's not what I meant to do. Lucky for us, there's oh. a big slab platform right here. How are we going to get back up? Where are you guys? Oh. Um, I think that's a problem for you, so Leia and I are already up here. Yeah, that is a problem for me. My own, my I just used my last Ender Pearl, not breaking my legs going down to Ren's house. So I, I wouldn't give you any, but I can't either. Um, um, I mean, if you're trying to get down, or trying to get back in there, that's that's not hard. You just go through Jackdaw's house. That is true. I'm sure Jackdaw wouldn't mind. Oh, I'm sure he would. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Alright, maybe... If I can line myself up with... Do you want me to put it down for you? Uh, no, I think I'll manage something. There's water here. Yeah! I am the fucking greatest. Okay, so why don't you take a nap? Uh, that means I have to take a nap. And what's the downside of taking a nap? Uh, that means I'm not working. And? What's the downside? Uh, the downside is, as I just mentioned, that I am not working. Yeah, but you don't need to work right now. I guess? Haven, Haven's number two criminal is here right now, helping clean up efforts. Okay, to be fair, Anathema is a criminal because uh, somebody else said so. Sure, Anathema did some uh, pretty sketch things, but that doesn't make him a criminal. Okay, so th there's one other criminal here I think at all. I a big bad terrorist. 
Yeah, don't be rude. I thought it could be a big fat terrorist. I mean, yeah, if they really put their heart to it. Oh, that was almost bad. There we go. Have you tried getting other people to also take shifts? Uh oh, that's bad. I couldn't really think of anyone else to ask. I think I found my way up. He's so late. Yeah? Oh, jeez. Oh. I hope Delicious. I found my way up. Ow. Where do you get juice? August has a juicer. August has a what now? A juicer. Gotta do it like this, I guess. I yeah. guess it makes sense. August is like a scientist or something, but it was just in the lighthouse. They don't know where it came from. Oh, um, and it makes juice. Like, like the bomb, also. I guess like the bomb. I have. It's very funny conceptualizing that they're from the same person, like. Here, live under a bomb in terror. And August is like, that's funny, that's great, I'm gonna do that. For some reason. And then... <laughs> and then the person who left the bomb was like, Hmm, maybe that didn't scare you, so I need to scare you. So I need to be like, Hey, live with this juicer in terror. And uh, <laughs> August enjoyed it, but they actually like cried themselves to sleep last night because there's such a juicer in their house now. I mean, I think I'd know if they cried themselves to sleep. Oh yeah, I mean... Duh. They didn't. Uh, I don't like the confidence with which you said that. Congratulations on the triangle. How the hell do I get out of here? There are so many windows on that building. On what building? On a building. Oh wait, no, I know what you're talking about, never mind, we're good. I have just- oh wait, no, I get it, I see. For what it's worth, August has better locks than Lux does. Hey, what if you stop breaking into Lux's bedroom too? Um, you know, I could do that, but then how would I give him cake? Keeps paying me for cake and then not. You could just hand it to him like a normal person. He keeps buying cake when I'm not around, or like buying cake when I'm not. I don't have the cake with me. Or leave it. In and then he's chest. not. I, I can't find him. Also, it's really funny making him like eat his way out of his bedroom with chocolate cake. <laughs> That's fair, I think there's a limited number of things you want a meeting in the bedroom. Do you want the bottle back from the juice? Here you go, here's the bottle. Uh... My inventory is full. Why is your inventory full? There's things in it. Very important things, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I keep some important things in my inventory, like um, cotton candy and a boat. I got this bone earlier. It's bone meal now. Most of my inventory is food. Why would you carry food around? Like, you only need a little bit of food. I eat a lot. Just eat less. Duh. 
uh, I've considered that, uh, but have you considered food tasty? I have considered food tasty, which is why I carry around multiple stacks of candy. And that's why I carry multiple stacks of meat-based food. And that's my quick opinion. Uh, is it better to carry around multiple stacks of candy or multiple stacks of meat-based food? Meat-based food, it's more filling. That's a good point. I do a lot of moving, so I probably have just a very high metabolism. That's why I eat a lot. Maybe it's your fart cloud that do it. Maybe the fart cloud take a lot of calories. Did you quit calling it a fart? It looked like a fart. You know what else looks like a fart? Your foot clouds? That does not look like a fart. That looks like a fire and red. Ouch. That. I can't believe you're committing criminal behaviors here. In front of two upstanding citizens who never break the law. Oh, I was going to go with the angle of, like, obviously I commit crime, but Coda. Um... No, we don't commit any crime. We, neither of us has ever broken a law in our entire lives. I'm actually gonna go check the yeah, server okay. blood real real quick. It probably shouldn't grow that much. I mean, I, I did fall into the void, so it probably grew a bit. Uh, I mean... Yeah, but that's how I... I don't do it often anymore. I only did it that once because uh, you really gotta learn to stop poking the bear. You almost punched me into the void, you raid fucking... God, I had an insult, but I'm too focused right now. Laser focused on not relaxing. What's relaxing? Hey, Co hey Coda, have you ever heard of this thing called burnout? Uh, no, actually. Why are you blowing up the walls? It wasn't intentional, there was a creeper back here. Oh, hey, uh, what if we blow up the, the server blood? Um, you know, that's not a bad thought. I would have to talk to somebody about that. Stop. Take a nap. I'll take a nap when I'm done. With what? Checking on the server blood? We know it grew. A bunch of us just died again. Okay, to be fair, that's the one way I can get- that's the one excuse I have for legally killing you. Uh, science? Yes. This isn't science, this is just like... This is when you go, hmm, does water put out fires? Let's test it 600 more times, to be sure. Like, duh! Look, if you want people to be less stabby with you, you should be less bear-pokey. I'm not poking the bear, I'm telling you to stop killing yourself here. I'm not killing myself. You are so mortal. What do you mean by that? I mean, like, you just... You're gonna work yourself to death, and then you're gonna respawn because of the funny death mechanics here, because we haven't confirmed aging yet. And they're gonna work yourself to death again. Like, did you see how out of it Gawain was? You're gonna be you like that, but without a library. Too hard. Over too long a period of time, uh, then you just kind of collapse and stop being able to do things. I mean, I don't really work all that hard. How many businesses do you have here? Uh, technically speaking, three? Two and a half. Where cool. And this is not, this isn't a prying question, so I don't need an exact answer, but I would love an exact answer if you would give one. Uh, how many, like, secret bases are you maintaining? Zero. Okay, I know about at least three. But my point is, you've got, like, a bunch of bases, you got a bunch of offices, you got a bunch of jobs, uh, you've hired an intern and everything. You do have oh, an intern. Oh, we're in front of the, the office, by the way. But, um, my point is, 
You are overworked, dude. What Nobody do you has mean as many three secret bases. I don't have any. Okay, yeah, sure, buddy. Okay, anyway. I guess technically I have one. I have the one at that cave at the spirit homes. What's Carnation doing? Who's Carnation? Carnation is one of the spirits of Haven, and Carnation is not really doing much. I mean, she uh, forced me to get a full, full night's sleep, so there's that. Congratulations, you won. I got sleep. Oh, questionable taste there. Not that kind of sleep. Yeah, you just got bone in it, and nothing else. Okay, I got a full night's rest, smart asses. Okay, now, try getting a full night's rest maybe every night? I heard sleep is married. Apparently someone wanted it. Someone wanted, like, the what? bone pile. Apparently. What? Like, someone he mentioned my wife him? at some point, And it was like, what? Huh. It's crazy. It is someone crazy. looked at that bag of bones and thought, marriage material. There's something wrong with that person. And either they put a ring on it, or he put a ring on it. More likely, they put a ring on it. Mm hmm. That's sleep's business, honestly. It's funny business, though. Yeah, I guess. There's not many relationships going on here, so it's fun to gossip about the ones we know about. And what if you don't gossip? I would be very bored. And when I get bored, I do things like community service, and come on. How much to get you to not gossip about, uh, my, uh, relationships? Hmm. For that wording, probably like 15 stacks. Of? Because, like, gossip is my whole thing. If I can't talk about it at all, that's like. Ooh. 15 stacks of? Oh, uh, blocks of emeralds. Blocks? If you just wanted me to, like, robbery. not tell everyone you're dating, that's that's cheap. That's maybe, like, two blocks of emeralds. But, like, not gossip at all? Because no, if I can't gossip no, at all, I can't watch you and right. August walking down the road smooching each other's sucking face and be like, ho oh, oh, ho, they must be dating. That's not fun. Obviously, gotta make fun of PDA. There's, like, 20 people here. When two of them are involved with each other, you gotta make fun of it. Especially when it's three. Hey, can I get some backup here? Um. Mortal enemies. And you're getting serenaded on a bed by the king. Come on. I'm trying to think on how I can back up with that. Not in Soleil's defense, but in like... What? How? Huh? Maybe I need more sleep. It's not any of your business. He's a very good singer. Still none of your business. That happened inside a private residence. True. But I didn't go in. You know what? Here's the defense. The defense is you leaving? The defense is me going to get two emerald blocks. To keep quiet about Anathema Lux in August. My silence is, uh, purchased. There we go. There. Thanks. Of course. 
Sleep gave me enough money that's it's kind of burning a little bit of a hole in my pocket, so... I have had nowhere to spend any money, which has been nice because it helped me save me. But there's like nowhere to spend oh, money shit. because nobody wants to buy my cakes and no, like Jack hasn't been around yet, so I haven't been able to buy like a soap touch pickaxe like I really wanted to do. A while I, ago. I mean, Jack Paw's fine with me just going in and buying things so long as I leave the money. Jack Paw has politely asked me not to look for merchandise, and I have to respect that. Okay, that's fair. You can buy music discs. I've got plenty available. I, also I don't have a jukebox. I also sell jukeboxes. But I don't have to buy something to use the thing that I'm buying from you. You could also just craft a jukebox. You can. I could. Where's the butt? There is no butt. I could, I could do that. You could also, I don't know, buy more food. There's plenty of stores around. You could buy more outfits from Captain at Soup. I've just been making my own outfits. That's fair. It just takes like a couple of sugar cane and uh, blue dye. Maybe like an hour of work. There's villagers in the community center. <laughs> I have been uh, working with them. Um, I've been buying my axes from them. Because it's nice to have uh, an axe and it's soap touch, so I can get, get the watermelons really fast. And then I've been selling six to Clyde. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I've been trying to get money built up and saved up so I can uh, buy that thing I need to buy back home. Um, what you... is the thing that you need to buy? So. Uh, there's this really funny prank I've been planning for maybe, like, 300 years. Okay. You're 300 years old. Oh, much older than that. Okay. But, so anyway, um, this prank involves, um, I need to, like, buy something for the prank, but the seller is really stingy about it. So it's, like, 5 million emeralds is the cost that the buyer or the seller gave me and oh man is it expensive hmm. i mean yeah five million emerald blocks is like a lot that's kind of why i have to set some of my gossip prices high because that's like 250 something maybe 100 some number of hundreds of so, wait what's what's the prank oh um so there's this guy who's like a big celebrity and he's famous for like driving around and being important and uh, cool and killing people. And I thought, you know, what would be really funny is if I had the same kind of like ability to drive around as him, like take, you know, his whole vibe. And I ran around hitting people and not hurting him at all. So, like, he does a drive-by and cuts someone's head off, and then I do a drive-by and, like, slap someone with a wet paper towel. Imagine the damage I mean, it would I, do to his I reputation. Would just give you, I would just give you emeralds for this cause. Ooh, I wonder what he's selling. Uh, What's a lot selling? of What's he selling? miniature blocks. Oh, is that how the prank happened? I'm guessing. There's also... Are you a co-conspirator? Oh, there's generally nothing worth buying from him. Oh, uh, the prank. You, you haven't seen it? All those small blocks lying around? No, I I mean, I did. I assumed it was Soleil. I think oh, we no, all did. Not me. I still think it was Soleil. That's rude. It wasn't. I mean, you have been known to lie. I have never lied. What name one time I've lied? You lied about throwing eggs the other day. Yeah. Well, I mean, I lied about it at first, and then I owned up to it. Yes, it's part of the but setup you of the lied joke. about it. I... Therefore, it is an example of a time that you lied. That's that's a you make a really excellent point from a logical standpoint, 
but from a standpoint of it was funnier, um, that's a, that's still a good point, and I don't really have a good reputation for that. I don't know, it kind of seems your brand to play a prank. Besides, there's only two, po two people stupid enough to enter my office when I'm not there. One of them's an amnesiac, and one of them is a prying little clown. I mean, sometimes I change the sign to say you're there. Yeah. Alright. Is there a spirit of small things, maybe? There's a lot of small spirits. No, there is not a spirit of small things. I think... How many oh, spirits I... are there? I know there was, like... There's the rock one, Pibble. There's the light one, Iris, who just keeps, like, lighting things up and melting snow. There's the... There's the flower goblin who puts flowers around and yeah. apparently flowered up the funeral home. Flower um, goblin isn't uh, around anymore. Kind of the forest is big and foresty. I think the spirit of forest, I'm not sure. There's carnation who's like tall and also flowers, but not the same as the flowers that are the flower goblin flowers. Flower and goblin isn't um, around anymore again. Oh, that's a shame. Then there's dew who's like small and wet. Then there's um, I heard I heard there's skiff who's like big and snowy. Uh, and icy and stuff. Um, That's we met, we met Kaleo, who is like small and fire. Um, and then there's the bikinis, the restaurant. I heard management change. Um, yeah, I don't think the bikinis that's all the are I know about. I don't think the bikinis are around anymore either. There is also our friend, who I think is the spirit That's true, of... our friend, yeah, the little sheep. I don't think our friend would do that, though, not without telling somebody about it anyways. That's a good point. Our friend's got a got a weird little shop. Yeah. It's always odd when the spirits are businesses, you know? Like the Shea Bikini that's getting run by an axolotl now. What? Excuse me? I heard she went to college. The axolotl? Yeah, he was valedictorian. Of Axolotl College? Uh, a normal college, don't be silly. I think their degree is in therapy and uh, restauranting. Restauranteuring? Restaurant. What's the verb for being a restaurateur? Restaurant. Hmm. Owning restaurants. Yes, yeah, so they have a degree in therapy and owning restaurants. He's very proud of himself. You know, a therapist, I feel, is definitely something we could use here in particular. A therapist would tell you to take a break. A therapist would tell you to take a break. Zeke, are you a therapist? I feel like Zeke's not a therapist. I get this... I get the suspicion that maybe, like... Maybe he'd be good at it, but maybe not a therapist. If the cat is a licensed therapist, that's... I mean, the cat's been doing a great job of making sure Ren's okay and looking out for me. Where are you going? I'm going to check up on Ezekiel. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey Ab Abaddon. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me through the window, if you can hear me through Coda, or if you can hear us at all, but... Um, if Zeke is a therapist, uh, are you, like, an anti-therapist? Do you do anti-therapy? Do you, like... Cause familial problems to brew. I mean, I get Dakota into all kinds of trouble. Huh. Nice, thank you for your service. That, wait. Huh? I just want to confirm that the dog talked. The dog yep. Talked. yep, the cat can speak too. Okay. He's feeling kind of quiet today, though. Still trying to find out if the parrot. I, can I talk. knew, I knew that this was like a thing that. This I. Dogs. My theory is that any animal that becomes part of Koda's life eventually learns to talk. So I'm thinking, since it's been a few months before Abaddon and Ezekiel started talking, um, and it was like a few months before he woke up when they started talking to like only him. I think in a few months. Uh, Griffin is going to talk to him psychically only, and then a few months after that, 
Griffin's gonna start talking to everyone. Don't be ridiculous. Could, do you want to borrow asbestos? You know, I could borrow asbestos. I wonder what asbestos would have to say. He's got loud opinions, but I don't speak goat. Also, don't be don't be ridiculous. Griffin is just some bird that I literally tamed outside of the disco. It's didn't a, it's a you parrot. think that uh, Ezekiel and Abaddon were just some cat and some dog though? Okay, but what has Griffin done in terms of a feat? Ezekiel built bridges in his shelter. Abaddon built soul torches in a soul campfire. Griffin built bird poop. He's pooped on your desk just now. No, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. Made you look. Also, to be fair, Abaddon and Ezekiel... It's so weird. Like, they started actually being able to speak as soon as I discovered things about myself. Like, what I can... What if they were encouraging you? They were like, you got it. You got it, champ. Get that Get that parrot on the stake. You can get there. You got it, buddy. I don't think Abaddon that's... Do that to you, I think. Why do I feel condescended to, even though you're not even talking to me? It's... It couldn't be that because I don't know how I would have how they would have egged on the vampire into drinking my blood. My blood makes her drunk. <laughs> what the hell is a Neffel Soleil? My blood makes the vampire <laughs> drunk. Listen, I'm I'm telling you, it's it's gotta be related to the, like the angel and the demon thing. Um Either that or it's just like some fucked up other- maybe it's like an earthworm with superpowers. I'm not a worm! <laughs> well, you're also not a wolf, but you've got like the wolf features. I'm saying maybe it's a worm feature to have superpowers and make people drunk. I haven't drank worm blood. Maybe you should. Uh, you know, if someone offers me worm blood, I will try it. I'll try it once. And if it's bad, I will stop drinking worm blood. I was gonna say, to be fair, we did drink the server blood. <laughs> It tasted so bad. It tasted like straight iron. Oh, I think I might be more iron deficient than I thought. Are you okay, Anathema? I'm fine. This is not meant to be an invasive question, but just more of like a share in our experiences kind of a question. Uh, next time you see the doctor, you should ask what kind of blood you have, because not of all not all of us have the same blood. Hmm. Yeah, don't you, you have like, oh, sugar water? Be everyone's favorite. Soleil has sugar water. Soleil has sugar water. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's no iron in me. It makes sense. I made up like four ingredients. What did what did we come to the conclusion that Sylph Sugar, has? Snooping. Oh, Sylph is like definitely fish blood. That tracks. My ingredients are sugar, water, uh, flour, and uh, paper. But the paper sometimes made of sugar, so it's like sugar paper. I think that makes it three ingredients. It makes it three ingredients. Um, There's definitely but, also some normal paper in there. there yeah, I was gonna say, I've, I've ab absolutely used a receipt to make clothes before. Are your clothes part of you? I don't think so. I mean, Soleil is constantly and regularly I, wearing different outfits. When I get wet, they're definitely a part of me for a little bit, and then they're not a part of me anymore. Have you tried making outfits out of something sturdier? That maybe doesn't melt? <laughs> Cardboard? Why do I do that? <laughs> You're supposed to feel comfortable in your outfits, like feeling comfortable in your skin. Why would I make outfits out of anything other than my skin? I don't know if I want to be having this conversation. It's like people who wear leather, they're like, I want to wear skin on my skin. I was gonna say, I think we're the last people to talk about different outfits. Have you even washed that jacket since you got here? Yes. I wash it all the time. Oh, not enough. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of blood in it now because I had to kill some mobs, but... Oh, not enough. 
enough. What? What? I can smell the sleep deprivation on that jacket. Ha ha. As in the last time you went to sleep, you were definitely wearing that jacket. Okay, to be fair, I would have taken it off, but I was like... Yeah, I just kind of passed out. So what you're saying is, when you were bragging about Carnation convincing you to go to sleep, it was more of Carnation happened to be there telling you to go to sleep, and then you lost function. I didn't brag about it, number one. Number two, I passed out, I woke up from overthinking, and then Carnation told me to go back to sleep. You kind of bragged about it. I didn't brag about it. You kind of bragged about it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Have we have we made a convincing point at all here, or is it still like a really touchy subject for you to go take a nap sometimes? Get get someone else to to take over watching the village or whatever. Oh, I could I could take over. Okay, no offense. I mean this in the most wholesome way, but I don't trust you to do it. Not because I don't I'm... trust you, but because you can't really hurt anybody. We, we could set up some sort of alarm system to wake you up. I mean, I don't really need to hurt better? anybody. The only people that you're supposedly looking out for are Kay, who doesn't hurt me, and uh, Anathema, who hurts me, but usually it's justified. And mine isn't when you're irritating the shit out of me regularly? I mean, I'm not watching you sleep with people, so I feel like Anathema has a much better reason to kill me. Okay, you know what? That's fair. I'm just telling you to, like, stop overworking yourself and maybe let me look at your private life. And you keep saying no, and I keep respecting it. And the main thing is that uh, I didn't tell you no There's the soleil I know. You know it's been a hot minute since you were like, hey, you should tell me about your private life. I told you I would stop for a month. Anyways, uh, I'll tell you more about my private life when I actually know stuff about it. You've been learning more, though, right? Like, about how the, the things... And you must have learned something that triggered Ezekiel the thought. Was it the, the blood thing? It was the blood thing. Just like we found out Abaddon can speak after I started generating a cloud under my feet. Heart jump. Can I, sh can, can I shoot her, please? Why are you asking me? I'm a criminal. Good point. So I stop calling it a fart, or I will let go. Bart. Coward. That was a good shot. Normally a one shot here. Blank. There we go. Hey, hey, Coda, hey, Coda. Yeah. Have an apple juice. Ooh. Juice. We have juice now. Sick. Why are there glowberries in your trash? Don't. I don't want to talk about it. Oh wow! Are these my the ones that came? Did cool. these come out of Iris? No. Those oh. came out of my attic. Why do you have glowberries in your attic? Where else am I going to plant them? In a farm. See, I could have... do. It's more Wait, convenient. So you have glowberries in your attic because you need to be growing glowberries, but you have, like, you, you throw them away? I have one in there. Why did you throw away a glowberry, Coda? I don't know. Felt like it. Trash berries. It's ripe. I don't know why I threw it out. I thought I saw a spawn on it, okay? Cut me some slack. Picky eater. I am a picky eater. I'm actually oh, my really- trash bit Yeah, mine did too. Other than the glowberry, which you just ate. And else trash get emptied? Ooh, yep. Uh, Captain's still an alcoholic. What? <sighs> Yeah. So trash got taken out. I need to go put stuff away. Doctor's trash got taken out. I wonder, I wonder what the doctor did with all those dirty needles. I hope I hope she sanitized them. 
Uh, knowing the doctor and how doctoral practices usually go, she probably either washed them or threw them out. If I get stuck with a not sterile needle, I'm gonna be a little bit offended. She didn't- she probably didn't throw them out in the way you threw out the slime. She probably didn't just leave them out there. She probably chucked them into yeah, the void. Yeah, you sharps container. Yeah, well, I mean, we did have trash back then, and I wasn't thinking of all the community amenities. Oh, I gotta put that cobblestone- I gotta put that stone brick back on the wall. Is the office still closed? You guys can come in for now. We do have visiting hours. Hey, Abaddon. Hello. I'm still workshopping the nickname for you. Nickname, huh? I have a nickname for everybody. Let's hear him. Well, for him, it's Meat Shield. Uh, the the blue one is clown, derogatory. That's that's me. Uh, they all have something against clowns. Like from from before meeting me, I don't fully understand it. Clowns are sketchy where we're from. Can I interest you in a Borwin mushroom? No. And Nathan, what about you? Can I interest you in a Borwin mushroom? A what mushroom? Borwin mushroom. My inventory continues to be full. That's that's your shame. Uh, Lux is princey. Here, I'll trade you. I'm still working Borwin on the rest. Mushroom. <laughs> it's a Borwin mushroom. It's a Borwin mushroom. Do, do you, do you, do you so do you use back? chests at all, or do you just like run around with everything you own? I use chests. Then why is your inventory so full? There's things in it. Uh, uh, okay. I I can't help but be so curious what things are in it. Because, like, I could list off everything in my inventory right now. It's like, I got a boat, I got some of my severed heads, I got string, I got emeralds, I got an anvil, a hoe, some pickaxes, flint and steel, rose marshmallows on a stick, I have the steering wheel for Secretariat, I have my fishing rod, I have a bunch of signs at crafting tables, a cobblestone, a shovel, a, bur a bourbon mushroom, some of my hair, a milk bucket, an axe, some torches, a glass bottle, and a bunch of stuff I stole from Master. I'm not telling you what's in my inventory. That's fine. I mean, I know of like four items. You've got your really big sword, you've got your really big crossbow, I think you've got arrows. I'm guessing. I'm guessing you don't have like an infinity thing on you there, um, and you have dirt. Oh, yeah, and you have your flower and your juice. So that's like, I'm getting there. I'm figuring it out. Only thirty-four items to go. No, no, I figured out more than that. At thirty, maybe thirty flat. Um, did you have any other nicknames, Abaddon? Yeah. Uh... Prince is Luxy. Wait, no, Lux is Princey. What? <laughs> hey, me too. Maybe only, you need I to get I'm more rest. I think I'm the only one who calls him Luxy, and he doesn't like Luxy, so I keep coming up with other nicknames, like uh, Your Magical Eminence, The Fiery Bestest. He liked that one. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Lux is Princey. Uh, I think that's all I really have right now. Still workshopping the rest. Still learning. Still watching. Hey, Kota, do you want a Borwin mushroom? Uh, sure. Can you get out of my room? That's your room? I mean, yeah, that's... Obviously my room, that's where my bed is. I guess you... Oh, uh, you please step outside the office for a second and welcome to my room. <sighs> my, bed's, my bed's out here. Okay, but I don't think you can own the entirety of Haven. You can try. You can try, but nobody will listen. <laughs> you make a good point. What are you doing? 
candy. Okay. Congratulations. That is... What do you say you're tired of me right now? Tired of what? Uh, of me. My shenanigans. I mean, we're always tired of you. Okay, see, you're always tired. Exactly. That means you need to sleep more. I, I don't... That one was underhanded. Yeah. Yeah, that one was a bit of a stretch. I'm, I'm trying the abstract roots, because telling him the very sound medical advice and, like, the the well-reasoned and thought-out things that are being sincere doesn't seem to work, so I'm thinking maybe if I just, like, make shit up, it'll work. Coda, did anything happen while I was watching, uh, fuck, what's it called, Elysium? Mm, no, I don't think so. Nobody was watching in the, uh... Prince got Prince snapped. Okay, well that's not my fault. That's not my fault either. You could have asked someone to watch while you took a break. I thought somebody would. Did you like let anyone know that you were taking a break? I mean, I thought people knew I was taking a break considering most people were peer pressuring me into taking one. I mean, quite honestly, I mean, the if people that were peer pressuring you were, like, you. me and Sylph, and a little bit of Anathema, and the Doctor. Um, so we were we were really pushing from a perspective of some of the least violent people here were pushing you to take a break. I don't know how much okay. we were pushing him beforehand. But assuming that the, the least violent people would automatically take up your mantle of doing Bird's job is a little bit of a stretch, too. I'm not even doing Bird's job. I'm not protecting the entirety of the kingdom or whatever. I mean, there's I'm literally... only one threat to deal with to the kingdom, and it's K. Okay, to be fair, no, I was... True. You are a very scary super terrorist. Thank you. To be fair, I was hired to kill K. Yeah, but it's like... And even then, around. I have solutions. I know, he's never around when yeah, I am. All he did was like... He mugged Lux and played a game of chess. They sent a, a block of TNT to college. It was what? valedictorian. What? Anyways. Clearly you've never played Epic Slime Chess 2000. Nobody invites me to play games! Is it because, oh, I'm the big edgy hunter, I don't play games? Yes. Well, that's... Carter, do you want to play a game sometime? I'd love to. Speaking of not inviting you to play games, and after we should play chess sometime, but not not time chess or not normal chess. Um, what chess? And you're not going to chess. You're not going to invite me. Chess. I will invite you if you take care of yourself in the way of sleeping and napping at an appropriate amount. Mhm. Mm mhm. You drive a hard bar again. If you want to, like, Dakota. contract it out, I can give you an emerald, and then, like, we can set that in stone. Or you can just, like, go to sleep, and then on honor system, I'll play exciting chess with you, if you want to, when you've rested well and considered the ramifications of playing exciting chess with me. If... What are the ramifications of playing exciting uh, The ramifications chess? are, it's fun. Look, we can, we, we can throw something together. I'm not going to sleep here, because... Sleeping here is just going to make me think, hmm, work. Yeah, that's the problem with living in your workplace. That's why I put my workplace down there in the business district. Okay, to be fair, building the office up here is also good for security for the place here, the residential area. Well, Self can watch the office. You well, hired yeah. Self to do that. I know. Self can watch it. Um, there's also Abaddon, who is actively watching it and not afraid to bite people. I've exactly. You've got uh, you've got uh, the demon dog who bites people, and the fish who also bites people. I, and I will go rest at my cave in the spirit sanctuary. 
I'm glad we're compromising here. I mean, I haven't had to compromise anything other than, like, really trying to drive home the point that this is something that doing uh, only benefits I think, you. So, like, I think we won for now. I, th I think we can back off. I think we won. Look, I'm aware I need... I'm aware I need to rest more because, uh, fucking... Why did you drop strength? I thought you would want strength. I don't really need it, but thanks, I guess. Good talk. But no, I, I get I get it. I have to rest if fucking Angel of all people is telling me I need to sleep more, then yeah, I get it. Can't believe you've gotten mommed. Oh, it's almost like Angel's my part of this weird family that Ren is putting together that is both awesome and wholesome. It's really funny that some of like the biggest and like the best killers on the server are all found make, make this found family with their two like really coward and not fighter kids. I don't mean coward in like an insult way, I mean coward in a way that like self doesn't really want to fight people. And I don't think anyone wants to fight Ren, but I don't think Ren wants to fight anybody either, so they're, like, really non-competitive people. Like, I'll fight someone, I'll just lose. But they won't even fight someone. And then they've got, like, their parents, who are uh, Angel of all people. Like, damn. And then uh, Bird, also. Wow. And then, I guess you're... What's your relationship there? Like, uh, are I'm you the, the uncle. uncle? Are you the cousin? I'm the uncle. Yeah, so you've got... Uh, Mama crazy kill vampire, mama crazy kill bird in charge of security, and uncle uh, edge lord, who is also a pretty good fighter. Not as edge people as people make me out to be, you know. I do have a soft side. Oh, and then they got the really like the really fun cringe fail cousin or whatever Aster's relationship is in there because Aster's definitely in that whole bunch. Aster is kind of cringe. I'm like in a really cringe fail. Like they they show up at the family reunion and you go, "Boom, they're back." Yeah. <laughs> and you deal with them over the I conversation like, over Thanksgiving. I feel like if I went into your house and like dug under the floorboards, I would find a corkboard with red string of everyone's relationships. Do you have one of those? One of what? One of those cork board, board things? Red oh, no, I don't have one of those. Um, you know, actually, I... that strikes me as more a jackdaw thing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why she doesn't want me rooting through the inventory. She doesn't want me to find her cork board. What do you need from jackdaw again? I was gonna buy Silk Touch Pickaxe. Um, because there's... Uh, you can't... So touch everything with an axe. Do you want me to grab it for you since I have permission to go down there and buy things? No, because we just finished the whole not assigning you more work conversation. Yeah, we can, we and can I don't want to be a hypocrite no. this fast. Go sleep. Fine. Go. I'm, I'm going. Everyone's so mean to me all the time. Try to be light. This is the nicest I've ever been to you. Yeah, but you're pure. You know what? No, I I, I want to actually Just... play epic chess or epic chess. What was exciting chess? Exciting. Exciting chess. chess. I do want to play exciting chess. I also want to play regular chess. It's a bit hard to get to Anathema, so I might have to send the secretary to pick you up and bring you over. I what? That clown was Soleil, by the way. You, you yeah. yeah, that that's Mouse. Mouse plays Soleil out of character. Um, anyways, back in character. <sighs> no, I need to rest more, but it's like I'm tired of having nothing to do. I'm tired of a job I was paid to do always falling right through my fingers. Maybe I should try taking off the gloves. Nah, that's crazy.
Wouldn't need to be so restless if I could just do my fucking job. Like, I can't even do the things I find fun, because that's all work. You know, I can't cook, because that's related to my job at the meat shack, and then I'll start thinking about the meat shack. I can't go mob killing, because that'll just make me think of my actual job and hunting monsters, and you need to go hunt down Crozul. It's gonna get to a point where I get over exhausted from resting too much. Maybe if more people would hire me to do more things instead of just the one job always slipping through my fucking fingers. I gotta respect the honor system too, I gotta... Gotta go take this fucking nap. I really hope Carnation didn't hear that conversation yesterday. And that was lore. Have fun, everybody. Uh, I'm going to call it a stream here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, share, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitch if you aren't already. Also, go follow Moth and uh, Mouse. And until next time, ladies, gentlemen, and all matter of species between, peace out.